Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. If you're new, then welcome to you. <laughs> this is Joe and uh, let's see, this is Wednesday, November 3rd. Uh, I'm out here taking care of the cat, checking on things, getting stuff ready. We're gonna be tearing into the bridge here. It's drying up, so want well, to be in good shape just wanted to give you a quick update and walk around and apologize again for not being able to do uh sunday night out here live in that old house really wanted to but i'm telling you man this is kicking my butt uh this cold now i did go and get a covid test monday And it came back negative, which is what I suspected, but you know, with Gail and Nick being home and uh, I was hoping to go back to work yesterday because I had scheduled off Monday for the haunted house live stream. And uh, so I, was, I didn't have to worry about Monday, but I was hoping to be able to go to work Tuesday. I thought I might get well enough and uh, so I went and did the test, <laughs> but I had to call off yesterday as well. But with the leaves clearing, you can see that house over there, why it's kind of spooky. I'm still gonna do one. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm near the end of this thing. It shouldn't be, but a few more days and I should be completely cleared up. Uh, it's in my chest now. Uh, it's, not nearly as much in my head as it was. I mean, there's plenty of room in my head. I don't have anything else. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much in my chest now, so I'm coughing a lot. Hopefully I don't cough too much on this video or uh, too much in the live stream tonight. Because I am doing, you know, I just want to remind everybody, I am doing a live stream tonight. My regular Wednesday night one. Uh, it's very pretty out here probably 45 degrees so chilly for sure but uh yeah i had to get out here and take care of that mean old cat that lives out here and check on things because i haven't been here since sunday and uh i mean creamer still had plenty of food even though he doesn't want to act like it man everything else is still secure since I got all the cameras up and neighbors living next door and everybody looking out for everybody around here, we haven't had any problems, so. I still like to check every now and then. I mean, everything's locked up much more secure now, so they gotta bring heavier bolt cutters if they want to try to cut something here anymore. But, uh, yeah. Gotta check on things every now and then. What do you think about the Republicans last night? That's what tonight's, uh, the discussion is going to be about on the live stream is with Youngkin winning in, in uh, Virginia. Is that like a shimmer of hope for the country? I know it is for the GOP. I mean, that was a major score. Even if he had gotten close, it would have been a major score. But to turn around and win, I mean, that shows you the lack of uh, respect people have for Obama and Biden and Harris, all of them that came out there and tried to, to help him. I guarantee you just made it worse because they do not, <laughs> you know, the Democrats have figured out, I do believe what it's proved in New Jersey, you know, I mean, these are hardcore Democrat states. And <coughs> one of the things I take from it is the Democratic Party and Democrats in general, I think are starting to realize that they voted for Biden and Harris simply because they hated Trump. And this is what they get 
and the rest of us unfortunately suffer from it but this is what they get for wanting to vote for anybody to get rid of Trump and now they're they're suffering because of it so I think that was a wake-up call and you know that not that that was a wake-up call but that was we saw they answered the wake-up call. <laughs> the last 10 months have been the wake-up call. And what that proved last night was that they answered that wake-up call. And they're waking up now. And, you know, this is... I said it when, you know, first right after the election. If we can last until 2022... We'll be in much better position then. And we're going to be. And 2024, it's out. That's the end of the Democratic Party, I believe. And you know what? I think I think Youngkin did a... Uh, he was very smart. You know, he, he didn't bring in Trump. Didn't have Trump come in and campaign for him. Because, number one, it wasn't necessary. You know? If Trump doesn't run in 2024, that's okay. You know, he doesn't have to. He he had the impact on this country, and that's it. That's that. That's what he needed to do, and that's what he did. And he, if he runs, great. If he doesn't, that's fine. It's not going to matter. The Republican Party is going to win <laughs> big in everything. So, maybe there is hope, a little bit of it, for saving America, you know, but we'll talk about all that tonight. I don't want to give away all, all everything I want to say, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this short because I like to breathe, too. <laughs> I can tell it's in my chest, but, uh, I'm going to. Go check my P.O. box. Now that I got that on the in my description, see if anybody sent anything. <laughs> uh, I wonder how long that has not been. I've been telling people my address is in the description. It's not in there. I'll be damned. But it's a little windy out here. Ain't much left as far as leaves go. I'm glad to see it drying up. Then we can get to work. Man, it's so nice out here. I don't want to go back. I do not want to go back. But I got to. Whew. Got to rent that brush hog. Get this stuff cleaned up better. I think, uh, I think Gail's coming out Sunday. And I'll let her mow. We'll mow one more time. It needs it. One more shot uh, before winter. And mulch up all these leaves. It'll be good. All right. Remember tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Tickets available at the door. Uh, everybody's welcome. We're going to talk about the election last night and anything else in general that y'all want to talk about. Any questions you might have. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me, see what I mean? That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> but this is Joe out here at uh, St. Bernard Acres. I'm, uh, remember to like, share, comment, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And God bless y'all. God bless America. And maybe we can save America. Last night made me feel good. Let's go, Brandon. I'm out.